Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. Today we've got another beer from Too Old, and this is the Goza to Hollywood, which is a Goza brewed with oranges. And uh, as is always the case with the Too Old stuff, absolutely gorgeous label from Casper uh, Ledert. Uh, probably not pronouncing that properly, but uh, yeah, he does a wonderful job. Um, across the board on all the beers that he's designed. I think he, I think he's designed every one so far. Um, but yeah, rarely stands out. It's got like a nice test card with um, some nice imagery in the back, and then the label on the neck is just the same image, but obviously without the test card. And as always, plain white cap. Uh, best before thirty third of the first two thousand and eighteen. So I've not had too much experience with the Goza style. The only other Goza I've had was um, what I've reviewed, um, which was Frygeist Vehicle Tours uh, Spruce Goza. And uh, yeah, this one is clocking in at 3.8%, so you know, very sessionable level there. And I'll quickly read you what it says on the back. To all got starstruck, this is how we went to Hollywood. Salty, sour, light goes. Brewed with the best fruits California can offer, best consumed on warm summer days. And it is one of those days. Um, so yeah, the lighting's not the best, but you'll have seen, you know, from the thumbnail, hopefully, that, you know, just a really, really standout looking beer. And I'm not sure if it's picking up at all on camera, but I don't know, that the beer in the bottle also just looks really pale and cloudy. It looks really, really nice in the light. So uh, yeah, this will be my third to all beer and um, the other two that I've had have been fantastic So hopefully this one will be just as good. So let's get it opened Nice amount of smoke. Splash myself a little bit there I could definitely smell that orange in there, but You're getting a lot of um, a hop character as well on the neck. You get that sense of a light saltiness, maybe. But yeah, you are picking up that zesty um, orange aroma. So anyway, let's see what the beer pours like and what it smells like. I'm not going to pour all in at once. But yeah, beer in a glass and that's a nice orangey colour. Um, it's a really hazy beer, but you can't really see that properly because all of the bubbles are stuck to the side. I'm uh, not sure if I cleaned my glass properly, but as they're dissipating, yeah, very, very hazy. Nice orange sort of colour, as you'd expect. Uh, not as dark as I was expecting it to be, but then again, would it be really that dark? Uh, but yeah, beer poured with just around a finger's worth of white head, nice spacious bubbles and nice compact bubbles. But yeah, it looks sort of like a, the, the, like a soapy bubble sort of thing. Uh, yeah, stumbling over words already, I haven't even got into the beer yet. But uh, yeah, it looks good. Let's give it a sniff. You definitely, definitely pick up that orange. It is like orange juice. But then you've got like this candied sugar sort of aroma as well, and then you get this nice, slightly bitter hop characteristic. Still a little bit of that salty water sort of aroma, but not as pronounced as it was on the neck. But it smells nice and fruity, smells nice and summery, so hopefully it's going to taste just as summery. So uh, yeah, let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Wow, that is very sour. And you pick up that salted water as well. It's a real attack on the palate, actually. And then, I don't know, I'm almost getting like a maybe slight lactose sort of flavour. You're not picking up that in the body. Um, it's a relatively light body. But that carbonation works as well. But they had that, that sourness, that sour orange. 
it really does linger on the tongue and it leaves you quite dry and I can feel it already on my lips but yeah um, you'll have to forgive me that was a real shock to the system actually let's give it another taste yeah once you get over that first initial salty sourness those oranges come through really really nicely and um, I'm not too sure if they've used like a complete orange in there or if they just specifically used the rind or juice or like flesh of the orange but you can definitely get that natural slightly sour citrusy orange characteristic and even though it is a shock to the system, it is, I don't know, I'm not going to lie, beers like this, it's going to take me a while to get used to. But after that initial sour kick, that juicy orange flavour comes in really, really nicely. Light body, it's crisp it's clean and it is summery it's very very summery let's get the glass filled and give it another taste uh, not too sure about the conditioning of the bottle itself but as is usually the case i'll leave a little bit in give it a shake around and pour it so there we go look at all that nice gloopy stuff so uh, it's not really changed that much um, in terms of haziness, but it's got a more deeper um, orange sort of colour. But yeah, very pretty beer. Very pretty beer indeed. So let's see, one final taste. Getting like a herb quality. Like a salad herb or salad leaf quality there as well. And now I'm used to that sourness. You're not picking it up as much as the first swig. It does die down consist considerably once you've got used to it. But it's that like, nice zesty orangey character. It's as if you just squeezed a full orange and just drank it. Not added anything to it. But in the context of the beer... Maybe a slight bit of hop character there. Not too much. Like a hoppy bitterness. But yeah, all in all, very refreshing. Very rejuvenating. Um, very light. Very, very drinkable. And uh, yeah, I'm getting like a real saltiness on the back end now, actually. I'm not going to lie. Not being one of my favourite beers that I've drunk recently. That's primarily due to the fact that I've rarely got very little experience with the Goza style but it's a tasty beer and I could definitely definitely see this going down really well when you're out in the sun nice and chilled not too much so you still get that flavor but then again it's such a powerful like orangey characteristic that even more chilled than I got it now you'll still get that you'll still get that bite that zestiness but it's a damn good beer. It's a damn good beer. It's just, for my palate as it is now, with my lack of experience with the style, um, to give it a rating, um, I'd probably give it a 7 or 7.5 out of 10. Um, it'd be interesting to revisit this once I've tried other sour beers. But yeah, it is a very sour beer. It is, a, if it's a good, I don't know if it's like the most sour of its style. But it is a sour beer. So if you're really not used to style. Um, I wouldn't exactly say this would be the first beer that you go for. Because uh, it is a little bit more on the pricier side compared to other examples. But yeah, 7. 7.5 out of 10. Uh, definitely going to enjoy the rest of this one. 3.8%. You could session this. And uh, yeah, it's it does its job. So uh, yeah. Out of the three two old beers that I've tried, this has been my least favourite, but I've enjoyed all of them. 
And um, yeah, I'm definitely going to try more beers of this style. So if you've tried this beer, let me know your thoughts and opinions. <laughs> What's your favourite sour beer? What's your favourite too old beer as well? Uh, what did you pick up on this one that I might not have? Uh, what's you know your opinion of the beer overall and the style overall? Uh, but yeah, uh, check out my Too Old playlist. If you want to find out more about this beer and the brewery itself, links are down below, as well as links to my Twitter and uh, Instagram pages. And uh, yeah, hopefully you'll join me for the next one, and hopefully you'll, hopefully you'll subscribe for more beer reviews. So on that note, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you later. Cheers.